What is up guys, my name is Chase, and today we are going to be talking about video game art books. Recently, there have been many books being made in the art of category. These are art books that take you behind the art process of your favorite movies, TV shows, and of course, video games. I've managed to collect a few of these books from Amazon, so let's take a look at some of my favorite video game art books. First off, here's the art of Super Mario Odyssey. I freaking love Mario Odyssey. This is such a different Mario game that goes through so many different atmospheres and environments. So of course we get this chunky monkey art book filled with hundreds of pages of Odyssey's artwork. This book comes with this cool transparent outer sleeve with the title printed on top, and opening up the book, it immediately captures the vibe of Super Mario Odyssey. It's so crazy to see Mario artwork in such high quality detail. These giant pages combined with the amazing looking artwork is just so surreal to look at in person. We get some really nicely detailed art of our favorite characters in Mario Odyssey, including shirtless Mario, man in suit, and Pauline with her very big, beautiful, round, voluptuous earrings. Of course, Super Mario Odyssey's big gimmick was identity theft, aka Cappy. And it's really interesting to see the development of this feature, including this cursed picture of Cappy capturing Peach. I don't even know how that would work. Then, the book goes into chapters dedicated to each kingdom. At the beginning of each chapter, there's a page of these really beautiful scenery artworks. Considering the massive size of each of these kingdoms, it's really cool to see just how much art development goes into every single little detail in the game. Everything from the rocks to the cacti. There's even an entire page dedicated to Goombas plus hats. Of course, the most interesting kingdom in Super Mario Odyssey in my opinion is the Metro Kingdom, or New Donk City. New Donk City. New Donk City is such an interesting and unique area for a Mario game. I just think it's so funny that we live in a day and age where Mario plays alongside real life humans. And for that reason, I love seeing all of the preliminary designs for New Donk City. Especially this piece where Mario appears to be having a chat with this person who has had one heck of a day. Finally, there's this really cool section that goes through Mario's history and all of the little references that are made in Mario Odyssey. I could go on and on about the art of Super Mario Odyssey. I just love this game and it's really cool to see all of this high quality art. Next up, we have the art of Splatoon. This one that I have is the art of the original Splatoon, but they also have the art of Splatoon 2. I find Splatoon to be so interesting because at the time of its release, it was basically Nintendo's first big new IP since Pikmin. It was so crazy to see Nintendo show up to E3 with this weird squid game. Oh wait, Nintendo came up with it first. And since it was a brand new IP, of course the art book is really interesting to look through. This art book highlights the 2D and 3D illustrations throughout the development of Splatoon. We got lots of squids and lots of kids. I also really like how the book takes you through the imagining of the entire world of Splatoon. We get to see illustrations of the maps, including all of the little elements within the maps, the posters on the wall, and even the graffiti. There's also some pages dedicated to the development of the characters, including Thick Cat McGee, aka Judd. But what the art of Splatoon focuses on the most is just the vast amount of gear in the game. There are pages upon pages filled with the designs of the weapons, sub-weapons, as well as clothing. It's really cool to see just how much customization went into the development of Splatoon. And lastly, since I like to do things in threes, let's take a look at the Kirby Art and Style Collection. This technically doesn't fall into the Art of category, and it's a smaller sized book compared to the Splatoon and Mario Odyssey art books, but it packs in art from the first 25 years of Kirby games. I don't know how Nintendo managed to make a pink blob so heckin' cute, and this art book really celebrates just how adorable a little circle can be. It takes you through the history of Kirby, everything from 8-bit to Kirby Planet Robobot. This is just an adorable book, and of course it's so cute to see all of the little designs of Kirby. Who would have thought a little pink circle would go so far? And obviously there are many many more video game art books out there. I really love seeing the art books for the video games that have a very distinct art style, like Cuphead, and The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. These are just the ones that I happen to have. But let me know in the comments what your guys' favorite art of books are, and feel free to check out some of my video game reviews below. For now, thank you for watching. My name is Chase, and I will see you guys again soon. Bye.